Good day guys, I guess I'm just out here with uh, Kilo. We're just camping out by the river as you can tell. Uh, I camped out here once before, but it was about 100 or 150 yards down the river. So it's kind of a familiar spot. I left a bit of firewood there for the last time, so I might go scavenge or whatever's left, if there's much there. <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see, Kilo brought his own stuff. <laughs> Loaded him up with dog treats and uh, he brought his own food, his own blanket, so he's a pretty happy pup. And I'm going to start making these uh, videos a little more interesting. I'm going to give it a little twist. I'm going to, in each episode, I'm going to either hide and I'm going to hide like a little alien somewhere in the background or hiding behind a tree or he might just pop on the screen for half a second. And uh, if you guys could find that, the top three people are going to get a shout out in the next video for finding it. And I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to just because I appreciate you guys watching the whole thing. So for those who find the little aliens, there might be two or three. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but yeah. For those who find it, I'll give them a shout out in the next video. But now I'm going to set up this tent. I found a little high spot right here. It seems to be decently dry. Uh, I checked out my old spot and uh, it seemed pretty mucky so so now we're here and yeah let's get this uh, tent going all right now that I got the tent mostly set up I'm just missing a uh, Four little stakes for the corners for uh, the taut lines. Right there. So that's what I'm gonna be making right now. I got one branch for now, so I'll carve this. I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll do the rest of them. So that's pretty much it. I want one spiky end, and then I want one end with a little hook. So I could wrap my rope around there. So Perfect, just like that. I need three more now. All right, we finally got everything set up. Everything's put inside the tent. So now we're gonna go collect some wood. If you guys are wondering what kind of tent that is, that's a marmot tungsten one-person tent. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's got a nice size uh, vestibule in it. But anyway, let's go get some wood. Hey, Kilo. Oh, there's a little bit of wood left. Not a whole heck of a lot, but better than nothing, I suppose. Watch out, buddy. Okay, come on, buddy. You gotta watch where you're going, buddy. Oh, this must be a bird nesting area over there. I'm not even sure what kind of bird that is. Hmm. 
I was over here collecting the w little twigs and stuff with Kilo. He's, he ran back over there, but Kilo found this giant turtle shell. Check that out. That thing's huge. Just about bigger in my hand. Nothing in there now, but I could almost make a bowl with that. Maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> Bring her back to camp. Oh, Kilo, making a nest. All right, I'm gonna keep collecting twigs and stuff, and then we'll get some kindling and everything. It's supposed to be minus five tonight, four or five, somewhere around there. It's been overcast for the past two days, so figured I'd come out and make a video anyway. <clears throat> I found like the perfect tree for uh, starter twigs. Like, look at that. Drier than, than all could be. Just, oh, there goes Kilo. I'm just throwing in the bed. Kilo! Stop that! <laughs> Jeez Louise, what a dog. Kilo! Holy. <laughs> He's like, I swear I didn't do nothing. Look at that innocent little face, huh? All right, let's keep collecting wood. Oh, Kilo's been a good boy, so I'll give him some treats. Hey, wait. Stay. Good boy. Oh, crap. Damn it. I'm going to try and climb this hill here somehow. We might have to try and cross the river somewhere where it's low. But I want to go up there and see if we can find a good spot. Just to show you guys the view of like, the surroundings and everything. Okay, you ready, buddy? Let's go. Hmm, it's not looking too good. I don't think we'll be able to cross, but there used to be a low spot right here, but it seems to be a little high right now and the ice is pretty thin. So I don't think we'll be able to cross, unfortunately. Because it, it is a pretty cool view once you get up there. All right, let's keep collecting some uh, tinders and some little twigs and stuff, and then we'll get this fire going, we'll have supper. And yeah, we'll figure out what we're gonna do after that. Uh, I was walking by the, these trees and I noticed there's tufts of uh, grass uh, stuck in the, in the joints. So it's relatively dry too. So I think this will make a good uh, kindling to get the, to catch the spark of uh, my ferro rod so I'm gonna collect some of this and I'll bring, bring it back to camp and then we'll start this fire <clears throat> all right for my fire pit I placed two side pieces and one along the back just so the embers don't kind of run away on me let's get this fire going Might be a little damper than I thought. All right, so that grass is a little too damp, apparently. So I'm gonna go see if I can find something else. And I'm also gonna make a bit of uh, wood shavings. So yeah, I'll go grab some grass and then we'll do some wood shavings together. So let's do it. All right, I got a little stick here. So we're just gonna Do some little feather sticks. Well, 
We'll do a couple of these and then we'll go back to our fire. All right, let's try this again. Once that starts to burn a little better, I'll throw on uh, some of the bigger stuff. All right. You guys are probably wondering what I'm having for supper. Got myself some uh, farmer sausage. I didn't bring a grill or nothing, so I'm just gonna be throwing it like pretty much right on the coals. And then I got a can of bush beans. Might as well kick it old school, haven't had beans in a long time and I figure might as well get rid of them when I'm camping. And then I got a pack of uh, curried ca uh, carrot soup which I'm gonna cook in my little titanium pot on this little stove here and it's pretty nice this thing has a measuring cup right on it so it so saves me time. I brought water today just because I don't really trust the water in this lake even if you boil it there's probably gonna be some chemicals in it because there's a lot of farmland around here so so I figured I'd just bring water I guess we're gonna need one and a half cups of water all right So, 10 ounces, I believe. Perfect. Now I got myself a little knife with a spoon and fork. The thing I like about this one is that it's like a full-size spoon and a full-size fork. It's not one of them little half-sized ones. That's what it looks like. Hmm. It smells interesting anyways. While well, that's doing that, I'm gonna open these sausages. <clears throat> Surprised Kilo's still snoozing. <laughs> Usually the second I open a wrapper, he's like, what? <laughs> oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> Kilo, did you hear a rapper? <laughs> oh, I swear, he pretty much like robbed the house and he wouldn't wake up, but the second you hear a rapper, it's like, what? <laughs> this will cook faster if I put the lid on, eh? Alright, so I'm gonna cut this in three, I think. Perfect. Perfect. Right on the coal. Charcoal. Ooh, hot potato. I'm gonna use my trusty Swiss Army knife. I don't know if you guys ever use the can openers on these things. They're magic, man. They save you from like having to carry a can opener. And they just work phenomenal. Like, I'll show you guys right now. No, my smoky's burning. Gotta save the smoky first. Whew. 
So this is it. Check her out. You just put this lip on the outside. Oh, sorry. You put this lip on the outside and this on the inside, and then you just keep moving her forwards. Just like that, you got cans open. Well, the carrot soup's boiling, so that didn't take long at all. So I pushed it in instead of pulling it out, so now I'm gonna have a, tr <laughs> have a tough time opening this lid here. Uh oh. Stick that beside the fire, and then flip our frick, our smokies before they're, they burn too much. Oh, I think those are done. <sighs> Whew. I had to save the smokies. <laughs> they were cooking way too fast. But I did throw the can of beans just beside the fire there. So hopefully they cook slowly, and not like the smokies. Let you know how they turned out though. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe one side's burned for sure. No good thing Keto likes smokies. Guess he might be having some for sure now. <laughs> okay, the burnt part. Is disgusting, but the other half is good, so I'm just gonna like bite the burnt stuff and just spit it away. That's how she's done. So I fell for one of those <laughs> Facebook ads the other day. <laughs> Bought myself these waterproof pants, they're all right. Figured might as well. I needed a set of pants for camping anyway, I was running low. They definitely, the material's different than I expected them to be, like from the pictures, but. Well, they're alright. They got little knee pads, knee pad like looking things. It's not the nicest looking day out, but. I really wanted to come out. I was looking at my logo the, the other day and I was sick on the couch and I'm like watching all the other YouTubers going camping making winter video videos and I'm like just sick on the couch. I'm like I'm going out no matter what. <laughs> so that's what I did. I was like I'm going. I didn't even look at the weather really other than it being minus five. If it was any colder than that, I probably wouldn't have taken my dog with me, but... Yeah, it definitely feels good to be out. I do miss living close to the mountains. Like, when I was working in Calgary, it was like an hour, not even an hour drive. 45 minutes, I'd be right in the mountains, right in the forest. I really miss that. Now I'm in Saskatchewan, there's like, no, <laughs> one tree maybe. <laughs> the whole province, it's like, God. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Hopefully work starts to pick back up there though. I'd like to maybe go back and work closer to the mountains. It'd be awesome. And I want to get a drone. Mm. <laughs> I've just been patiently waiting for the Mavic 2 to come out. Um, <laughs> then I'm getting a drone. Like I already got money put aside for it, but just waiting. It's the waiting game now. Come on, DJI. <laughs> Released it already. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool getting a drone, though. And then I'll be able to get those nice aerial shots and, mm, mm, just up my game, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna put three aliens in this episode. If you can find three aliens, you'll get a shout out. No, no, no. 
you find one of the three, you get a shout out. And then if that one's already taken, the next guy has to find the other one. Right, that's how we're gonna do it. <clears throat> and then all you have to do is in the comments below, just uh, tell me which, at what time during the, this episode that you saw the little alien, you'd be hiding somewhere, or it might just flash on the screen for like half a second. You know, you won't know, but if you get it right, you'll get a shout out in the next episode for sure. Cause you know what, I appreciate you guys watching these videos the whole way through. So that's just kind of like a little way for me to recognize who's doing that and who's not, you know? Anyway, how about this soup? How about that soup? Let's check her out. Let's check her out together, huh? How about that? Okay. Like, look at the size of this spoon. You can't complain about that. Like, my other one, I had another knife that had the little spoon on it. There's like maybe half the size of this spoon. This is a legit spoon. Mm. I don't know if it'll be good, but I got it for free at Mech. <laughs> Mountain Equipment Co-op. When I was in Calgary, they they were doing a free mountain climbing session for everybody. And, and then they had a bunch of vendors there and they were giving about so much free stuff. Contests and you could enter your name to win trips and everything. And then the one vendor, they were giving out free carrot soup. So I was like, meh. <laughs> Not too bad. Could use a bit of seasoning though. Pretty bland. Mmm. I do got seasoning. Hold that thought. Ho ho ho! Got the whole drawer with me here. It's got salt, pepper. Montreal steak, spice, red pepper flakes, garlic, and onion powder. Mm. Can't say I don't come prepared. Can't say I don't. Oh, the little gremlin woke up, Kilo. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, Mr. Floppykins. Hey, buddy. Yeah, Kilo kept knocking those freaking guidelines down or whatever. So I was like, whatever. They're not going back up today. <laughs> And then a lot of salt, because that's what's missing. We'll give this big piece to Kilo. Since he's been good all day, most of the day, until he was like destroying my, <laughs> my uh, sleeping bag, trying to make a nest out of it. But here, here you go, buddy. <laughs> what a good boy. There might be a Kilo 2.0 coming pretty soon. Cause we bred him with uh, my friend's dog, another little pit bull in the next town over. So hopefully she's pregnant. We were, we're not too, too sure yet, but hopefully. Cause I need, that'd be cool having a little Kilo 2.0. Cause I think we're gonna call him Goose. That's the plan anyway, Goose. <laughs> How about that soup? Mm. Yeah, the salt did the trick for sure. Not too shabby, Mac. Not too shabby. Well, guys, I'll get back to you guys once I'm done eating so I can enjoy this food in front of me. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, folks, it's after supper. There's not much to do, so I'm going to see if I can open up this turtle. <laughs> turtle shell see what's on the inside there's nothing in it obviously but I just want to cut it in half could make a bowl or something you never know <laughs> all right pretty tough little things Same on this side. Mm. 
brick. These are, sh are hard shells. Oh no! No! I stomped on it too hard and I broke the half I wanted to keep. Oh no! That's devastating. Oh well. Oh, well, I guess this is what the inside looks like. I guess we'll just toss her away. That's kind of kind of creepy, though. You can see like their spine or something. Hmm. I'm so choked. I didn't think the shell was gonna break that easy. Hmm. Well, other than that, I think I'm gonna burn the rest of this wood, and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm in the tent, because I'm probably gonna go hang out there once I'm done burning this. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, it's about eight o'clock. Still a little light out. It's starting to get dark, but I got my little light up here, so. We're all good. Looks like Kilo's gonna be sleeping inside the sleeping bag with me. <laughs> As per usual. You're at the house, he's, he likes to sleep under the blankets for some reason. Cause he's a silly dog. He's a silly spoiled dog. Yeah. Oh, he's the first one in the tent. <laughs> hey buddy. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. I only got a little bit of battery left. So, we'll do a conclusion in the morning. See you, bud. Alright. Good night, guys. Alright, guys. We're all packed up. Oh, it's pretty early. I think it's about 7.30 in the morning. So, we're heading out of here. Once again, I forgot my baked potato. Right there. Mm, go figures. Anyway, we're out of here, so if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, and it helps me out if you guys subscribe too, if you haven't already, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching guys, and make sure you guys find those aliens, I'm going to give shout outs, so, alright, have a good day guys.